What's up guys, my name is Eduardo and today's video is a video tutorial on how to perform your first push-up or how to move on to 10 push-ups or 20 push-ups just to improve your pressing strength. Now, I'm gonna show you how to get that first push-up but I'm also gonna show you how to do it in a way where you can progress to harder variations. I'm gonna show you one harder variation than the push-up but that could be infinitely harder so that you can progress to really cool things like the straddle planche or straddle planche push-ups. So let's get started. So let's start off with the basics here and just learn how to hold an elbow plank with your back protracted and in a posterior pelvic tilt. So that means your upper back is gonna be rounded, but your hips are gonna be lower than your shoulders and you're going to squeeze your glutes. This is just to demonstrate body control and get you comfortable getting into this position so that you can apply it to your push-up. Throughout this whole video, squeeze your stomach, squeeze your butt, round your upper back, and that's how it's gonna to transfer to those harder skills and to getting your first push-up. So don't slack off with these other progressions. In a plank position, you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together and then pull them apart, all while squeezing your glutes the entire time. Make sure that the hips stay below the shoulders so that you can properly engage the core while doing this movement. Start with your hands and knees on the floor and you're going to bring your hips in line with your shoulders and your knees. And keep your feet on the floor while you perform a push-up. You're going to keep the elbows close to your body and then finish with a rounded back. Make sure that you squeeze the butt the entire time to actively engage the core. This variation of push-up is a plank to knee push-up, but you're attempting a full push-up. So you're going to set up your plank position, come down to the bottom of the push-up, press up as high as you can, but if you can't make it all the way, set your knees down with control and then press back up like a knee push-up. Make sure that you keep the elbows close, your butt's tight, and you finish with a rounded upper back. When you have found your weak point, adjust the height so that you can work that weak point. So if you can get all the way to the floor, use a yoga block or a pillow or something to have you limit the range of motion. From there, perform your push-up, maintaining full control the entire time, squeeze your butt, squeeze your stomach, and round your upper back at the top. Think of the push-up as a plank moving up and down. So you're going to squeeze your butt and squeeze your stomach while performing the push-up. Finish with the rounded upper back and make sure that the elbows stay close to your body. Now to make the push-up harder, all you have to do is follow the same steps, but you're going to lean forward so that your hands get lower, closer to your belly button, and if you can, closer to your waist. This is going to challenge your core significantly, so make sure that you hold your body alignment the entire time. Don't arch your back and make sure that you're really challenging yourself by leaning further forward. The more forward you lean, the harder it's going to be and the more it's going to translate to harder skills like the planche and planche push-ups. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this one. Until next time.